The modern battlefield is no place for outdated technology. If you're looking for an armored vehicle that combines power, speed, and advanced protection systems, you need to hear about the Centauro II. In this video, we will reveal the secrets behind Italy's next-generation 30-ton beast, which is more than just a vehicle, it's a game-changer. Whether you're a military enthusiast, a defense expert, or just curious about the cutting-edge equipment shaping today's wars, you won't want to miss this. Stay tuned to the end, because what we're about to show you could completely change the way you think about modern military vehicles. The Centauro II, a masterpiece of Italian engineering, builds upon the legacy of the original Centauro vehicle introduced in 1991. The first version of Centauro was developed during the Cold War, designed to be light, fast, and powerful. But as conflicts have changed, so too has the technology. The Centauro II is crafted for the challenges of the modern battlefield, where threats range from improvised explosive devices, i.e. DEES, to high-velocity anti-tank rounds. It's the ultimate combination of firepower, protection, and mobility. Let's talk about what makes this vehicle truly exceptional. The Centauro II brings the firepower of a full-sized battle tank into a lighter, more maneuverable platform. Imagine a tank's lethal punch in a package that can navigate rough terrains and urban environments with ease. Its 105mm or 120mm tank killing gun is designed to take down heavily armored targets while maintaining the flexibility to operate in a wide range of conditions. The main gun comes with a digital fire control system, FCS allowing it to engage targets quickly and accurately. This means the crew can lock onto a target, fire, and move on without exposing themselves to enemy fire for long. The key to the Centauro II success is how it's designed. Like its predecessor, it features a sloped front known as a glassy plate. This helps deflect enemy rounds, making it harder to penetrate. But that's just the beginning. The vehicle is packed with modern technology to enhance its survivability. Ballistic armor, additional anti-mine protection, and an automatic fire suppression system make sure that the crew stays safe, even in the most dangerous environments. The Centauro II also incorporates a nuclear, biological, and chemical NBC protection suite, allowing it to operate in areas where other vehicles might fail. Mobility is critical on today's battlefield. A vehicle that can't move fast enough or can't maneuver in tight spaces quickly becomes a target. This is where the Centauro II shines. Powered by a 720 horsepower Iveco Vector 8V diesel engine, the vehicle can reach speeds of up to 105 km per hour. Whether it's navigating through urban streets or speeding across open terrain, this vehicle moves with a surprising agility for its size. The vehicle's 8x8 wheel configuration offers excellent stability and mobility. With large run flat tires and a sophisticated suspension system, it can handle rough terrain, steep slopes, and even trench crossings with ease. The Digital Tire Pressure Control System CTIS, allows the crew to adjust the tire pressure on the fly, adapting to different terrains to maintain optimal performance. One of the key upgrades in the Centauro II is its advanced turret. This fully enclosed, rotating turret houses the main gun, along with a suite of secondary armaments designed for close-quarters combat and anti-aircraft defense. The turret is equipped with a laser rangefinder, night vision, and electro-optical EO systems giving the crew unmatched visibility and target acquisition abilities, day or night. Imagine being able to spot an enemy vehicle in complete darkness and take it out with pinpoint accuracy. This is the reality of the Centauro II. The main gun isn't the only weapon on board. The vehicle can also be outfitted with a 7.62mm or 12.7mm machine gun for dealing with infantry or light vehicles. In some configurations, a remote weapon station, RWS, is mounted, which can be operated from inside the vehicle. This allows the crew to engage enemies without exposing themselves to gunfire. Another crucial feature is the Centauro II's ability to deploy smoke grenades. On each side of the turret, there are eight electrically discharged smoke grenade launchers. These can be used to create a smoke screen that hides the vehicle from enemies, providing crucial moments to escape or reposition on the battlefield. Inside the Centauro II, the crew is well protected. The vehicle is designed with anti-mine seating, which reduces the impact of explosions beneath the vehicle, keeping the soldiers safe. The crew of four includes the driver, commander, gunner, and an additional operator or dismount. The internal space is ergonomically designed, allowing the crew to operate efficiently even in long missions. But protection and firepower aren't everything. The Centauro II is also built to be networked with other battlefield assets. Its advanced digital suite allows it to communicate with other vehicles, 
drones, and command centers in real time. This seamless integration into the larger battlefield makes it a force multiplier, not just a standalone vehicle. It can share targeting data, receive orders, and contribute to the overall picture of the battlefield, making the Centauro II part of a smarter, more connected army. When it comes to survivability, the Centauro II is in a class of its own. The vehicle's laser warning system detects when it's being targeted by enemy missiles, giving the crew a chance to take evasive action or deploy countermeasures. And in case the vehicle's fuel tanks are hit, they are designed to be anti-explosive, minimizing the risk of catastrophic damage. As we move into the future, warfare is becoming more complex, and the vehicles used in these conflicts must keep up. The Centauro II is not just an upgrade of an old platform, it's a leap forward in armored vehicle technology. Its mix of speed, firepower, and protection makes it perfectly suited for the challenges of modern combat, from urban warfare to open field engagements. Now let's think about a real-world scenario. Imagine a battlefield where the enemy is dug into fortified positions. A traditional tank might struggle to move quickly enough or take the hits from anti-tank weapons. But with the Centauro II, you've got a vehicle that can speed into position, fire off a round from its 120mm gun, and reposition before the enemy even knows what hit them. And if things get messy, a smokescreen can buy enough time for a tactical retreat or flanking maneuver. In fact, the Italian army has already seen the value of the Centauro II. With an order for 106 vehicles, they are ensuring that their forces are equipped with one of the most capable and versatile armored vehicles on the planet. As conflicts continue to evolve, the Centauro II will likely play a key role in Italy's defense strategy for years to come. The vehicle's low profile, despite its power, also makes it harder for enemies to target. Its compact design ensures that it can navigate tight spaces, making it ideal for urban combat. And with its amphibious capabilities, the Centauro II can ford water obstacles up to 1.5 meters deep, giving it the flexibility to operate in a wide range of environments. But the Centauro II isn't just for Italy. Other nations are taking notice of this impressive vehicle, and it may soon become a staple in other modern armies around the world. Whether it's peacekeeping missions or full-scale warfare, the Centauro II is built to adapt and thrive in any environment. If you've made it this far, then you've seen how the Centauro II represents the future of armored vehicles. Its blend of speed, power, and protection is unmatched, and it's built to survive the toughest challenges of modern warfare. We hope you've enjoyed learning about this impressive machine and how it's shaping the battlefield of tomorrow. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss a video. We have plenty more content coming your way, from deep dives into military technology to analyses of the latest developments in defense. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and let us know your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about the Centauro 2? Would you want to see it in action? Let's continue the conversation.